I got a phone call from a friend of mine who works for the government, and he said, um, you have to get involved in this spin. It happened on April 20th, 2010, 41 miles off the coast of Louisiana. It's going to change your career. It's going to define every part of the rest of your life. You have to get in the game and get down here. Tragically, the explosion killed 11 and changed the lives of millions living near the Gulf Coast, as well as hundreds of scientists who responded to the crisis. I was as close to the well as any scientist could be. This cauldron of oil that's flying out of the bottom of the ocean floor. Four weeks after the BP Deepwater Horizon disaster, oil hit the Louisiana coast. The first few days of the major impact, it was, uh, it was you know, mind-boggling. Everybody just could not believe how much oil was on the beaches. In an effort to break up as much oil as possible, almost two million gallons of dispersants were sprayed onto the surface of the water and directly into the escaping oil. By the time the well was capped, 87 days after the blowout, hundreds of communities and millions of people were affected. We smell fumes from oil. Is it safe to stay here and breathe? Can we get in the water? Can we walk on the beach? People were looking for answers, and I think that that was a very difficult time because we were still trying to research and, and uncover what had truly happened. This was really a catastrophic disaster, but it was uh, from a scientific point of view, this is an incredible opportunity to really understand how the ocean responds, how the system uh, really functions. What ran through my mind first was, let's go out and get some baseline data, we at least have some measurements about what was uh, there before the oil. When I heard about the oil spill and I realized that, that the blowout occurred at 1,500 meters deep, I knew that we didn't have any baseline data for the large fishes in that area. To discover what happened, scientists from around the world turned their attention to the Gulf of Mexico. A whole research community has developed. It's composed of engineers, it's composed of chemists, biologists. We all get to work on pieces of this very big puzzle. We're trying to see if we could come up with new, unique methods to understand the oil pollution process. In controlled experiments that we perform in a laboratory, we try to answer these questions. Every dive, I've seen something new that I didn't know before. We've discovered processes and organisms and microorganisms that are new to science. I mean, good grief, how, how incredible is that, that your job is to discover things that no one's ever seen before. Today, an international team of researchers are focused on the Gulf of Mexico. These are some of their stories. Intimate portraits of research, innovation, discovery. Stories that speak directly to a nation still recovering from the largest oil spill in U.S. history.